So welcome to the second video in the material design series. In this video we're going to be looking at toolbars and menu buttons. So toolbars are what you get along the top of your app. They usually have things like a title for the page you're currently on and possibly a few buttons like a search button or a menu button or something like that. So first thing we can do is just remove the button that we created in the last video because that's obviously not needed, that was just a test. And then after that you'll want to go into the head section and we're going to import a new file. So this is going to be link rel equals I then import and then href and this is going to be components forward slash bower components forward slash core dash toolbar forward slash core dash toolbar dot html and then close it off. The reason we're now importing this is because we're going to be using the core toolbar tag so we need to import this. All of our paper tags are imported for us automatically because it comes in this paper elements.html file they're all in there but when we need the core elements they come uh, separately so we'll add those as we need them so now that we've imported everything we need we can go into the body and we're going to create a core dash toolbar and then you can close it off and you can immediately see the toolbar here in my preview but obviously the colors are not correct that's not very material color but we'll get into that in just a moment. Open up this tag and inside of here we're going to create a span and this is where we're going to put the title of the page and I'm just going to put messages and pretend this is like a messaging app and as you'll see that's now in our toolbar in the preview but a property that we we'll need to add to this span is something called flex and what flex does is it basically makes it fit the rest of the width so if we had like a button on the left here it would take up the rest of the width that's available so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to add a button to the left of it uh, like a menu button or a burger menu or whatever people want to call it so for this we can do paper dash icon dash button and you remember in the previous video we used paper dash button that's if you want to have text in it but what we're going to do now is create an icon button which will be a round button with a little icon on it and then we're going to add an icon equals and then menu and I'll leave a link to the list of icons you can use with the material design in the description below. So go have a look at that if you want to look at all the names of the icons you can use. But I think menu will go best on the left there. So now if you click on the menu, you can see that it's got that animation. Obviously it doesn't do anything. We haven't coded it to do anything. That's what we expect. But it has got those animations there for us. So the next thing I want to do is change the color of the toolbar. So we can do this by going to the core toolbar and I'm going to just style this as the tag. You could if you wanted to create an ID or a class and style that rather but I'm going to style the tag just generally and give it a background color of that. So 4285F4 and that gives us some nice sort of flat color for our toolbar. And you will of course want to change the text to white and that also affects the icons as well. Now what about if you wanted to have a button maybe on the right here where when you click on it it will bring down like a drop down with extra options. So we can of course do this. So we can have a paper dash menu dash button and what we're going to add is an icon to this and I'm just going to use create which will give us like a pencil for if you're composing a message or something. And inside of here we're going to add a paper dash item and here's where you put the text for your item for the first item even. So I'm going to put new group message or new message and then I'll duplicate this line and add new group message. And now if we save that you can see the menus here but it's not acting as we want because there's not actually enough space for the text to align to the left because it's trying to fit out here off the screen but it obviously can't. So we can fix that by going to our paper menu button and adding a H align and setting this equal to right and that will align the contents of this to the right so then it all comes out to the left here if that makes any sense so it will pull out to the left rather so if we refresh that and press the button it acts just as we want and these are just normal buttons now one thing that could become a problem is that when you put this on an android device with phone gap when you click on these links it won't appear like this you'll get the animation but then you'll get like a blue box going around it to show that you've clicked on a link and this is normal behavior for android in the browser 
but not quite for apps. So we can remove this with a simple one line in our HTML body styling. So I'm going to do this by pasting that in. So it's the WebKit tap highlight color. And then we're going to set it to white. So the th first three zeros are sending it to white. And then the last one is the alpha. And zero makes it completely transparent. So you can see here brackets is telling me that that's transparent. So now you'll no longer see that click behavior, which makes it act more like an app rather than a website. So I'm gonna leave this video here. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe if you found it useful. And I'll see you in the next video.